Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Before I'm gonna start this do I have that book challenge video, <laughs> just whoa, oh my god, since the last video I've gained so many new subscribers. My last video about Again But Better by Paula Mananas Books has gotten so many views. It's my most viewed video until so far and I just wanna say thank you guys so incredibly much. I've never received as many comments as I have in a video before and I think that it's just really nice that I can have a really good discussion with people in the comments. People are also pointing out things that I said or that I didn't say and I think that I can definitely learn from a video like that. But today we are here for the Do I Have That Book Challenge which is basically kind of a bookshelf scavenger hunt. I'm not gonna choose any of the books that I have in my dorm. I'm just gonna use the books that I have here with me and my phone for the questions. There are 20 questions. So let's get started with question number one. Question number one is, do you have a book with deckled edges? And the first book that I'm immediately thinking of is ooh, this one, The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. This is the first book in a duology. And this one has definitely, you know, as you can see, deckled edges. <laughs> People have very mixed opinions about deckled edges and I am one of them. Question two, do you have a book with three or more people on the cover? Jeez, I really need to think about that one. I think maybe, is it? Yes, I have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This is the first English book that I read and it was super popular four or five years ago. And as you can see, one, two, three, and, oh no, that's just the view. Three people on the cover, boom, in your face, honey. <laughs> Next up, do you have a book based on another fictional story? Yes, of course I have. <laughs> a Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Moss is the first one that I was instantly thinking about because this is a fantasy trilogy based on Beauty and the Beast, which is also fiction. So yes, I have that one. Check the box. Question four, do you have a book with a title 10 letters long? I mean, I think we all do, right? That's not super hard. I think I can pretty much pick whatever book I want. So I'm going to go with a quite long title. Okay, there's a Funko. Oh my god, this was a struggle to get out. But Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. 22 letters in this uh, title, if I am correct. I read this one last summer and I liked it, but the more time that has passed, the less that I'm super tempted to read the sequel. So I probably need to like refresh my mind before the sequel comes out and then decide, do I want to continue with it or not? Question number five, do you have a book that starts and ends with the same Letter, letter, letter. Jesus Christ, English sometimes. For that one, I'm gonna have to take a look at my shelves because I cannot think of one right now. So that was quite difficult, actually. I think it took me three minutes to find a book that started with the same letter and ended with the same one, too. So I have Obsidio, the third book in the Illuminate Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Question number six is, do you have a mass market paperback book? Oh no, honey, oh hell no. <laughs> I do not have a mass market paperback paperback. I think those are the worst books ever because they're usually super thick. I do not like cracking the spine of a book. With a mass market paperback, you kind of have to. Do you have a book written by an author using a pen name? Here I have one of my favorite reads of this year and that is A Girl Called Shameless by Laura Stephen. Now, I do not know, I haven't fully researched this, but Laura Stephen recently came out with like a middle grade mermaid book and there her name was, I think, Laura Kirken or just something different than Laura Stephen. So I do not know if her true name is Laura Stephen, but I think she writes with a pen name or is she now married? Holy crap, I don't know because she got married. So now I do not know if her name is Stephen or Confusion. I'm gonna look it up. I'm, I might ask her on Instagram because I have messaged her a couple of times before and she's responded. So question eight is, do you have a book with the character's name in it? I mean, I can think of at least two of them. Of course, all of the books in the Harry Potter series is like a really obvious choice. I also feel like Percy Jackson and the Olympians is quite an obvious one. However, there are different titles for the books 
as well. So yes, Percy Jackson and Harry Potter, I think. And if that's not good enough for you, I have Eliza and Her Monsters by Frances Francesca Zappia. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. <laughs> Question number nine, do you have a book with two maps in it? Immediately, I'm thinking of this book. An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. And I mean, in the beginning, we have this whole map of the empire. Uh, and then, oh my God, struggles. In the back, we have a map of the Black Cliff Academy. So there you go, two maps. Oh my god, Daenerys! My Funkos are not surviving this video. Question number 10, do you have a book that was turned into a TV show? For this one, I'm gonna have to pick City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and the funny thing is I usually never like watch a movie or a TV show before I'm gonna read the book, but I never planned on reading the Mortal Instruments series by her. I've only read the first two, so I'm still struggling to get through them, but I watched the first episode on Netflix. Thought it was quite like, Fun. Looking back at it, I think it is trash. But because of that, I decided to pick this book up like two years ago or something. Really enjoyed it. This one got turned into a TV show. Question 11. Do you have a book written by someone who was originally originally famous for something else? For this one, I'm going to pull up a book, which is obvious and also like a little reference to my previous video. Again, but better by Christine Riccio because she is a YouTuber, a booktuber, and now she has published a book. I mean, she's quite famous, especially in like the booktube community. 12. Do you have a book with a clock on the cover? That is a difficult one. I, hmm. You guys, I don't think that I have a book with a clock on the cover. And otherwise, I didn't take enough time to look at it, but I don't think I have one. Do you have a poetry book? Yes, I do. And I think that I have more, but the one that I'm grabbing first is An Ocean of Grey by Kamalia Hasni. She is a, one of my friends on Instagram. She gave me this Ginny Weasley Funko for my birthday, which I, I haven't even met her in person yet. I think that was just so incredibly sweet of her. And Molly also has a booktube channel herself. She wrote this poetry collection. A friend of hers, I think, um, made the illustrations in here. And then she published it herself too. My mind was blown and I had to support her. So I got this book and I absolutely adore the cover. It's really pretty. And the inside, the poetry itself is also really lovely. Then do you have a book with an award stamp on? It. Here I have Aristotle, Aristotle, and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe, and this one has four award stickers on it. Well, these are not stickers, they're basically like printed on the cover. I feel like this is supposed to tell me something, that it's quite a good book, and that I probably should uh, be reading it. But I haven't yet. I should, because this feels like a book too classic. Next up, do you have a book written by an author with the same initials as you? My initials are SR, so let's try and see if I can find one. So I wasn't able to to find an author with like an S and an R in their initials. I did find authors that had like either an S or an R in their initials, but not both. So unless you guys know an author that has SR as their initials, let me know in the comments down below. Question 16, do you have a book of short stories? Um, no, I don't. For some reason, I'm not like particularly fond of short stories. If I really enjoy a story, I want more than just a short story. I want a long story. Short stories are just not really my thing. I probably should try it, but the thought of it alone always makes me feel like, ugh. 17, do you have a book that is between 500 and 510 pages long? That sounds really specific, but I probably do have one, right? Okay, so I kind of, I, I did cheat for this one because I didn't come up with it myself. I looked up the questions on the internet and that person also answered with this book and that is A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. So yes, I do have it, but with the help of someone else, I found it on my bookshelves. This is the second book in the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy and this book, believe it or not, has 509 pages. 509 people, oh my God, how precise. Question 18, do you have a book that was turned into a movie. Uh, tons! I mean, Percy Jackson, Harry Potter, Children of Blood and Bone is gonna be turned into a movie. City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. What do you have more? You have The Hunger Games, To All the Boys I Loved Before. You have The Martian, like I could probably go on and on. Yes, I have a lot of those books. Question 19, do you have a graphic novel? Yes, I do. I have a couple of them actually. I've also got two mangas. So to show you guys, one of the five or so graphic novels that I have is Sculptor by Scott McCloud. This one is definitely the biggest one that I have. 
this was one of my favorites because the artwork is really pretty it's all done in like white black and blue colors and the story is just incredibly emotional I really just enjoyed this a lot and then the last question question number 20 do you have a book written by two or more authors so I could say the Illuminate Files by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff but I want to mention another book a book that I still haven't read yet I bought it three years ago when I was in America and I really should read it it's called The Way Back to You by Michelle Andriani and Mindy Scott the cover is gorgeous this is a very emotional story all about friendship and loss and sickness and health and stuff like that I feel like very little people have heard about this book so that's why I wanted to mention it Whew, okay and that was the do I have that book challenge video done I think I couldn't answer like two or three of these questions. I really enjoyed doing this kind of bookshelf scavenger hunt. It really made me look at all the books that I have in my shelves again. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and you guys can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Because I'm a booktuber, of course I have Goodreads, but I also have Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.